hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will add braking to our vehicle so right here after the steering wheel let's create a function or method by the name of public void apply brakes and in here what we will do we will say that if input dot get key okay and the key code is dot space then what we will do we will set the present acceleration to the braking force else the present acceleration will be equals to zero f okay and when we apply the brakes, we want four of the player card dies to be stopped. And guys, actually, we need to change this from present acceleration to the present braking force. So, okay, this should be changed to present brake force, okay, not acceleration. And guys, let me tell you one thing more that we will add the mobile inputs, but in the upcoming videos, okay. So, leave a comment down below so that I know that you guys are excited for the mobile inputs way okay, for now we are just testing it on the keyboard so right here in order to stop the wheels we will do the same as we did for moving the wheels so right here we will say front left wheel collider dot brake torque and this brake torque comes with the wheel collider by default okay and the brake torque will be equals to the present brake force now let's do the same from for the front right wheel collider and then from for the back left wheel collider and the back right wheel collider so this will stop the vehicle when we press the space button and as i told you later on we will change the keys to the mobile input so stay tuned for that after creating that let's call the apply break function right here now save it and now we have the breaking force now let's play the game and you will notice that now when we move forward we can move to the left right and now when we try to press the space button as you can see now it just simply stopped the vehicle and now if we try to move as you can see our car is not moving because i am holding down the space button now if i release the space button as you can see our vehicle is now moving whoa i like this beautiful drifting effect as you can see let me drift right here okay whoop whoa so now as you saw we have a fully functional player controller okay we can move forward we can stop we can move backward we can move to the left to the right and to all of the sides as you can see and now the next thing which we will be doing is to add the mobile inputs and then we will test our application on a physical mobile phone device okay so with this done catch you guys in the next one